Hello everybody, welcome to Crafty Soup. My name is Misty and today I have for you the next layout in my layout a day challenge for the month of May. Today's prompt was to record a favorite family recipe and to use the colors red, green, and white. So let's go ahead and get started. My layout today is about my gingerbread recipe, which I developed many years ago, and uh, we use it every year to make our gingerbread houses from scratch at Christmas time. And this layout is for my son, who doesn't like to be on social media, so all of his images are covered up in these photos. And I'm actually gonna set them off to the side and just use these placeholders instead for the duration of this layout. Now today I am making an interactive pocket element, and here is a template of that. Um, just as a, as a trial run, and I will show you more of the process as we go along. I am going to use a sheet of cardstock, and of course this is just a sample here, to hold this pocket in, and the pocket has a little tab, so I will glue around the top edge of the pocket to catch those tabs, and around the entire edge of the pocket, and just leave that opening for it to slide in and out. So I am using my counterfeit kit to create this layout, which is totally based on kitchen retro kitchen theme, so it worked perfectly for this layout. And I pulled out red and green, and that works perfectly because it is a Christmas layout, so everything kind of came together very nicely. Now, because this is a recipe layout, I wanted to grab one of these recipe cards in my kit to use as decorating that pocket. Okay, so now I'm trying to finalize my pocket. I cut down a green, uh, that green piece of cardstock, and I'm gonna adhere it to the top of my layout so the pocket can easily slide. Here's how I'm arranging my photos, and that leaves spaces for title and journaling. Now I've got my recipe printed, and my recipe app is wonderful because it will print these three by five size cards and you can cut them apart but here I left them together and just scored them and because it was a long recipe it needed two separate pages so I had to adhere them all together and then I trimmed off the bottom of that cardstock to have that tab that I mentioned and notice how thick this is I'm a little worried <clears throat> that it's going to be too thick for the size of my pocket and the other problem I had was that um, it's pulling out from a folded area and not from the top so I'm adding this extra little tab to be my pull out so I'm going to fold and score it there and add some adhesive to the back of that and then I'm going to fold up my my uh, recipe card and adhere this little pull tab to the back side of that recipe card and now when I pull it it's gonna pull out and then accordion out, and that's what I want it to do. So now that the structure of this pocket is ready, I'm gonna add adhesive, and here you can see what I mean about adding adhesive just around um, where that, uh, that tab is gonna catch on the adhesive, but the rest of the, of the card can slide in and out of the pocket. So I am going around this, um, piece of cardstock, just leaving that opening. And I hope the opening is big enough to accommodate the thickness of this paper um, because it is cardstock and it's accordion folded. It's got a lot of thickness to it. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that everything goes well. And then I forgot to attach it inside, oh my. So I tuck that tab in there and then luckily I hadn't adhered everything down too well. Um, now I do use a very strong adhesive for this. Luckily, like I said, I didn't, give it a nice pressing to adhere it all the way because I was able to open that back up and get my tab in there but <laughs> then I pull on my tab and the whole thing comes out because I didn't press that <laughs> adhesive at the top and my husband was asking me what I was doing here so um, his fingers come <laughs> into the screen there. So with all of that pressed down now you can see the complete functionality of this pull out interactive element and I've got the entire recipe there of the gingerbread recipe and directions for building the house. I will probably go back later and kind of um, decorate up that recipe a little bit with pictures of the actual houses but I didn't I didn't get that done today. Okay so I am back with um, the base of my layout. I thought I was going to build my title up on this kind of apron print 
in the end, I decided it was too busy for, for those title letters. So I'm going to use that apron print in another way. And I had to look up if gingerbread is one word or two, it's one. <laughs> and then I decided I didn't like just the one word going all the way across. So I added the word houses and that feels more full and finished to me. And because it goes onto the recipe card, it, it really seems to fit well. And then I'm pulling in a little bit of decoration for kind of these top and bottom strips that are available. And um, before I get to that, I do decide that I'm going to use the apron print to mat all of my photos. And that will bring in little pops of color, just tiny. You won't really notice that there are aprons around the edges, but it brings in little top pops of color around the photos. And th this little cut apart piece was from a Simple Stories line that has to do with cooking. And uh, it has some elements there that I thought made for very easy embellishments. I fussy cut out one little bowl and adhere it to my tab. And then I just cut apart some strips of kitchen equipment. And I'm going to pop those up on foam dots to make them look more three-dimensional, like they're actually in the kitchen. I add a little bit of ribbon both to the top and the bottom where these foam popped up kitchen elements will be. Um, just as a little bit of a finishing touch. Now this page is really, really simple and I'm okay with that. Sometimes I do complicated pages and sometimes I do simple pages. I finish off that ribbon with a few hearts because this is fun family time together. I choose a journaling card that will work for my journaling. I add a note to the, that top piece to pull out the tab to see the recipe. I add my basic journaling, get it glued on there. And my photos are in place. And that's it. This is a really simple layout with a nice, oh, that's not it. I did decide after looking at this page that that recipe card had some little flowers on it, which didn't make any sense. And so I noticed that at the last minute and decided to cover it up with a punch out of more of that apron print, another heart, and a little more ribbon. And then that finishes the layout. So simple is not necessarily bad, and I do keep my layout simple sometimes. I hope you enjoyed that interactive element to this page. I will be back on Monday with the beginning of my daily layout videos for the month of May. I do hope you'll come back then. I'll see you next time.